Why Muhammad used to have a statue more than 20 years in his house after he claimed he is a messenger of Allah? After he destroyed the statue of Mecca, he still have a statue. Let's see if we have a customer online. Al-Bara'a, Al-Bara'a, MashaAllah, MashaAllah. Come on, Al-Bara'a. Salam. Salalim. How are you, Al-Bara'a? Good, how are you? Good. <laughs> how, what kind of a statue your Prophet Muhammad used to be have it in his room? In his room? Mm, after he married Aisha, after he destroyed the statue of Mecca more than 20 years. What kind of statue will Prophet have it? He never had a statue. He has a statue of man. But what kind of, which Where man he has a, his a statue? Do you want me to show it Where to you? Where does it say that? Show me. Okay. Open with me Sunan at Tirmidhi in Arabic site because English is fake. I don't trust English. But we use Google Translate for we translate it. Sunan at Tirmidhi, part 5, page 110, Hadith 2806. Let's read it together. Book so five why he told us, uh, do you understand what I said? Huh? Yes. Yeah. Do you know Sunan at Tirmidhi? Yes. Bravo. It's a collection of Hadith. What? It's a collection of Hadith. Sunan at Tirmidhi is collection? The collection of hadith. Man, you don't know what the Sunan meaning? What are you saying? You don't know what the Sunan meaning? Said collection? Sunan like a lekshak. Read, read, read. Read now, read, read. So what? So what? Abdullah bin. Bin Mubarak told us, he said, Yunus Bin Abi Ishaq told us, he said, Mujahid told us, he said, Abu told us, Herrera, he said, the messenger of God, May God bless him and grant him peace, said. Gabriel came to me and said, I came to you yesterday and nothing prevented me from entering upon you in the house you were in, except that there was a Statue at the at the door of the house. Men, and there was a curtain in the house, with statues in it, and there was a dog in the house. So order the head of the statue that is at the door and let it be cut off so that it becomes like a tree and command the curtain to be cut and two pillows made out of it to be placed on it and command the dog to be taken out so the messenger of God may God bless him and grant him peace did so the dog was a puppy of Al Hassan or Al Hussein under his table, so he ordered it to be brought out. This is a good hadith and it is on the authority of Aisha. Sahih. So, what kind of a statue of man Muhammad used to have it in his house at the front door? Let me show you another hadith also. I have two hadith, you not just it, only one. You said it, okay. You said it was in his room. Yes. Uh, in his room. I just showed you. We just read it. In his house. 
In his house, man. What that mean in outside. his house? Outside the door. And in house. You just read it. Oh, you making? Let me give you. What is this statue? Sahih Ibn Hibban. Also, now read it. Uh huh. <sighs> also, on the authority of Mujahid, you know who's Mujahid? No. You don't know your religion. No problem. Read it from here. Abu you don't know your religion. You don't know who's Mujahid, and you came to answer the question. Shame on you. You don't even know your religion, so what read. are you talking? Read, read, read. Abu, Abu Hurairah told me, he said, the messenger of God, may God bless him and... Graham P said, Gabriel, but he did not prevent me from entering the house, the same place you were, and except that there was in the house a statue of a man. Where? In the house. Continue. A statue of a man. And there was a curtain in the house in which there were statues and there was a dog in the house. So he ordered the head of the statue to be cut off and he ordered the curtain in the house in which there were statues and there was a dog in the house. So he ordered the head of the statue to be cut off and he ordered the curtain containing the statue to be cut off and two pillows were made of it. He ordered the dog to be taken out and the dog was a puppy of Al Hassan Al Hussein was under a chat was under a challenge to them. He said Then Gabriel came to me and he hear it from him. Look the chain of narration now. Its chain of transmission is authentic according to Muslims' conditions. Its men are trustworthy, including men of the two sheikhs other than Yunus bin Abi Ishaq, who is one of the Muslim men, and he is truthful. So the hadith is the most authentic. So what kind of man a statue of Muhammad used to be have it inside his Aisha room after he claimed it he's a messenger of Allah more than 20 years? Where do you get Aisha's room? This is an Aisha room. Where did it say it's an Aisha Up room? In Sahih al-Bukhari you can see it. He ordered Aisha to made from this curtain two pillows. Your he asked Aisha to made from those curtains, those curtains, Order it Aisha to make two pillows. Your claim in Aisha room. Your claim was that Muhammad وسلم, worshipped a statue after he destroyed Mecca statue. Where did it say he worshipped a statue? Yeah, he keep it. He keep it this statue in his house. So that, that doesn't mean he worshipped it. He at keep all. it this. But did, did he worship Why he it? keep it this statue more than twenty years in his house? Maybe because it was already there and uh -huh. not... already yeah. there when he married Aisha. <sighs> The you know, stuff became haram after a certain time. So I'll call Bro, for example. So why he had the statue of man inside house and I showed you another hadith, a front door also, statue of man, front door also. Why he has it after he claimed he's a messenger of Allah. How many years Muhammad he is staying in Mecca, mister? In Mecca? Yeah, or before he, he ran away to Medina. He, he, he was a prophet of God for 23 years. So, no, no, wait, stay with me. How many years Muhammad started preaching in Mecca till the people of Mecca came out, he ran away to Medina? How many years? Uh, I don't know. 13 years. Okay. 13 years. He started cursing the gods and the people of Quraysh and three times the people of Quraysh came to Abu Talib and told him, please spoke with your orphan nephew. Tell him to stop course us. 
three times. Finally, they get Muhammad out. He ran away to the Medina. He's staying how many years in Medina? In Medina, he stayed, I believe, 10 years. 10 years, right? Okay. So 10 years and 13 years. That's 23 years. 23 years. After he came back to the Mecca, he married Aisha, right? Yes. So after he came back to the Medina, to the Mecca, say one year. After one year. Okay. Say that. Yeah. So which means 24 years. After he claimed he is a messenger of Allah, 24 years, he has a statue of man, a front door inside house. Why? I, I will not know. Which means Muhammad used to be worshipped. Muhammad was never worshipped. Her son. You see, no. Muhammad was worshipped. Prove it to you? Huh? Yes. Do you want me to prove it to you? Prove to me. I don't. I've never worshipped Muhammad a day in my life. Okay. Okay. I'm not. To, I'm not asking. You, I'm not asking you if you worship Muhammad or not. I'm asking Muhammad used to be worshipped, Maryam, and her son. He used to worship Maryam. And, and he Asia? used to yeah, yes. <laughs> and he used to be worship Al Uzza. Do you want me to prove it? Please. You, you, can't, okay. you can't prove Great. it. Great. Yeah. yeah, no, no, no problem. Don't say you can't. <clears throat> Don't say that word. Because I left this religion. I know what I'm talking about. Don't say you can't. Because you didn't study. That is your problem, not my problem. This oh, is book oh, Siyar oh. Alam al Nubala from Imam al Zahabi. Part 1. Page. 176. Is it, is it Sahih? Yes. Sir Alam and Nubala from Imam Zahabi, man. What are you talking about? That doesn't mean Sahih. Read here. There's, there's hadith from Abu Harir that aren't Sahih. Read here. So I said to Atta, When did he die? He said, In the fire at the time of Ibn al Zubair. I said, During the era of the Messenger of God, may God bless him. And grant him peace. You mean it was? He said, I don't know, but I think he was in his time. So, which means the time of Abdullah ibn Abi Zubair during Muhammad time. So, now continue next hadith. Daoud, Daoud bin okay. Abdul Rahman okay. said, On the authority of Ibn Juraj, mm -hmm. Ibn Juraj is a truthly man and Atta. Then Atta came back after a while and said, the statue of who? Jesus and his mother is in the middle Where? of the pillars. Where? In the Kaaba. Inside the Kaaba. Why? Why Muhammad it? Al-Azraqi said, this is the history of Mecca. Daoud al attar told us on the authority of Amr ibn Dinar, this is Tabi'i after Muhammad 50 years, Amr ibn Dinar. He said, I was in where? The Kaaba. Before? The statue of Jesus and his mother was demolished. Daoud said, then some of the hijaba told me on the authority of Mustafa bin Shaheb. Shaiba. Shaheb. Oh, Shaiba. That the Prophet, yeah. may God bless him and grant him. Peace said, O oh, Shaiba, erase every image except what is under my hand. He said, Then he raised his hand from Jesus, son of Mary, and his mother. Boom. So why, why Muhammad keep the statue and the images of Mother Mary and Jesus Christ inside the Kaaba till he died? This, this clearly contradicts the Quran, so it cannot be Sahih. It cannot. No, didn't contradict. Let me give you from Quran. From Quran. Absolutely Quran. following Quran. No, no, absolutely following Quran. Who said contradict the Quran? Surah Surah Al-Duha, do you memorize it? Wait, do you memorize it, Surah Al-Duha? 
والضحى والليل إذا سجى ما ودعك ربك وما قلى ربك وما قلى وللآخرة خير لك من الأولى ولسوف يعطيك ربك فترضى ألم يجدك يتيما فآوى ووجدك ضالا فهدى Can you tell me what that means? ووجدك ضالا فهدى ووجدك ضالا فهدى Let's go to interpretation Let's go Okay. The most authentic interpretation in Islamic history. Let's see what he said. Wajadaka Dalam Fahada. Let's see. From first interpretation in Islamic history and most authentic one. Imam Ibn Jarir al Tabari is the first one made interpretation to the Quran. And most authentic one. Ibn Jarir al Tabari. Let's see. And I have a lot of verses from Quran. So this is Surah Al-Duha, verse number 7. Right? This is from Saudi Arabia, S.A. Saudi Arabia, Quran. Okay. Ibn Jarir al-Tabari, interpretation. Let's see, as Suddi said about that, what is that? What Ibn Humayd told us, he said, Mahran told us, on the authority of a Sudi, uh, and he found you lost, he said, he was, he was in the charge of his people for 40 years. Boom. Muhammad used to be following his religion, his people religion for 40 years. Just only here. No, 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 no. We, we have it, another. It does not say that in the Surah at all. It says, and he found you lost and guided, and he found you poor and yes, made you this verse came down on who? This verse came down on who? What do you mean? On Muhammad. Okay. Allah speaking on Muhammad, Surah Al-Duha. No, 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 no. He's not speaking what? to Muhammad. He's not speaking to Surah Muhammad. Surah Al-Duha, not on Muhammad. Taib, listen. I will challenge you now. Look, I will send to you to university now. TikTok University, I will send to you, if you prove to me, Surah Al-Duha and verse number 7, not specifically on Muhammad. Let's go. Make a four, make a four. What verse? Verse 7? Man, I have only two. I have, I, I'm, 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 you know, I'm poor man, bro. Money, I'm money, poor man. Don't worry. I, I, okay. I will donate. Two, donate. TikTok University, offer for you, if you prove to me, Surah Al-Duha, verse number 7, not talking about Muhammad. Two from me and two from Muhammad, yalla. E even if that is, what does that prove? It proves nothing. No, no, don't tell me even. Okay. Now prove it to me, not talking about Muhammad, verse number seven. All right, one second. Google it, take your time. Tell you prove it, I will show you beautiful hadith on Sahih al-Bukhari. May I ask you a question? Who is that? Muslim, Christian, Buddhist, Hindu? Muslim. Hindu. What? Yeah. So on who? On Muhammad, right? One second. It was towards Muhammad, but not in the way you meant. He was on. It was so on Muhammad, Sharia. right? Yeah, it was given to him Sharia. So on on Muhammad, right? But for Sharia. Not, not that. Okay, on Muhammad, right? Okay. I don't care when. So now on Muhammad, right? Mm -hmm. Okay, next time don't tell on Muhammad. Don't say not on Muhammad. Okay. So here, in this verse, he proved it. Muhammad, four years before he claimed he's a messenger, he's a pagan. No, he was not. He was never a pagan. Never. He following his people religion. What that mean? His people worshiping Allah or a statue? Specifically, Abu Talib and Abdul Muttalib. The Prophet has, it was pure from a kid. Hello, Mister. The Prophet this was verse pure from a kid. Came down on Muhammad. Not you, look, religion not according to your opinion. What you wish. Religion we take it from the books. Okay. Thanks. Not according to your opinion. I like Muhammad to be Allah. Thanks. Okay. No. Allah, Muhammad is Allah. The verse, Not according to your opinion. That Look, verse, brother, according to your scholars. According to your scholars, not according to your opinion. That verse, okay. that verse was meant 
towards so the, the Prophet was so unaware of the Sharia law. Okay, now, now let me prove it to you. Also, when he was before, he said, I am Prophet. Let me prove it from Sahih al Bukhari. Also, when he said, I am Prophet, Stephen, and worshipping statue, and a slaughtering animal to the, his own statue, and eat it food. Same meat you slather it on his statue from Sahih al Bukhari. I don't understand why you're bringing up from Sahih al Bukhari when you yourself does, don't believe in it. You don't believe in Sahih al Bukhari. I don't believe, but you believe. Okay, I can bring up stuff from the Bible that. You, you, so you believe. But you, Muhammad, now we prove to you Muhammad is a pagan after he claimed he's a Jesus Christ. Um, so, so you believe it's fine to keep you, right? You believe, not me. No, you believe. You believe that. Does your not, Prophet Muhammad tell you that. Even your Allah said that in Quran. Doesn't doesn't it say not that? Me. No, doesn't it say that in the Old Testament? No, 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 no. Doesn't say no, that in the Old no, 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 no. <laughs> I challenge you. I challenge your Allah to prove to me. I, as a believer, we analyze any even one child. But I will prove it to you from your Quran, from your authentic hadith. Your Prophet Muhammad used to be lining up the children. Line up the children one by one. The head. One by one. Does it not say in Samuel? Your Prophet, that is, no, that is, you can't, that is, you can use it for anything. Why? Before I answer you, go to chapter 30. Before I answer. Chapter 30 of what? Same Samuel, first Samuel. You bring it exactly. from chapter 15. After 800 years, in chapter 30, read the verse. First yeah. two verses. You demolish yourself. May I ask a question? Now came back to my question. Now here, you guys following Muhammad. And Muhammad, hey, he claimed he's yeah. a messenger of Allah. And we prove it, Muhammad is pagan, worshipping a statue. Who is Allah? Allah means God. No, Ilah means statue, God. Statue, God, Moon God, open with me, chapter 1. Surah Al-Quran, Surah Al-Fatiha. I know Surah Open with me, Surah Yasin. Where, where in Surah Al-Fatiha? Open Fatiha? with me, Surah Maryam. Where? 83. Maryam, 83. Okay. Read it. Verse 83? Yes. Okay. Do you, O Prophet, not see that we have set the devils against the disbelievers, constantly inciting them? Who talking here? Allah's talking. Allah sent devils? Do you not see that we have set the devils against the disbelievers, constantly inciting them? So, Al MashaAllah, Allah sent devils against disbelievers? Mm -hmm. Okay. Allah sent devils against disbelievers. Okay. What's your point? I'm so confused. The point is what's the difference between Allah and Shaitan? Because Shaitan also sent devils against disbelievers. That makes no sense because does it first of mm -hmm. all Who misleads the Shaitan? Who misleads the Shaitan? Who misleads the Shaitan? Mm -hmm. Allah. I know where he's going. Allah if, misleads the shaitan, right? Allah, if he wants to, he could mislead the shaitan. Who misled the shaitan literally? In what? So, what are you talking about? Who misleads the shaitan? Make him disbeliever. Make him. He asked him to be polytheist, but shaitan he refused to be polytheist, and he's staying monotheism, muwahhid. Only the shaitan is muwahid in Islam. All the angels is a polytheist, mushrikeen. Even Allah mushrik. So who misleads the shaitan in Quran? Yeah, I, what you want me to say is Allah? Not say. Read the verse. I just Prove read it the verse. from verse. Okay, open with me Surah Al-Araf verse 16. Bro, these verses don't mean anything. Chapter you're, 7, you're, chapter you're, 7, verse 16. Ya Allah, Habibi. 
this doesn't okay one read just read it just, no, no, read, no. It. just read it one thing okay just read it according to just your read it no, no one question according yeah, to your habibi leave my face now no are you catholic after we finish no, i have a question after we finish i have a question i'm, I'm proud to be catholic and orthodox i'm proud you're catholic so or, now which one are you open catholic with me chapter 7 verse 16 yalla that finishes the topic man so you want to attack religion but you don't jump your own religion how does that make sense no, we have a topic. Okay, chapter se Okay, and this is about the topic as well. Chapter 7, verse 16. Read. Never again will, will they hunger, and never will, again will they thrice. The sun 16, will not be... 16, 16. This is 16. Man. Oh. One second. You don't know how to find a verse in your Quran? And you are a Muslim? <laughs> Satan said, since you have led me astray, I shall surely sit in a bunch for them on your straight path. What he said? Since you have led me astray, I will surely Who sit. Who talking here? Shaitan. Shaitan, he called your Allah. Oh Allah, since you led me astray, I will mislead all the mankind in earth. Right? Okay, what's your point? Your Allah is a misleader. Every, every... Your Allah is a devil, even the shaitan is a poor. He misleads the shaitan and mislead all the mankind. Oh. After he misleads the shaitan, he sends the devils against all the mankind, disbelievers. I, I, I gave it to you chapters, wait. I gave it to you first of all, chapter 19, verse 83. Allah sent his devils against yeah. disbelievers, didn't guide him. And even he didn't let Muhammad, the prophets, guide the disbeliever and finally i'll prove it to you in chapter 7 verse 16 your allah mislead even the shaitan even the shaitan allah mislead him the shaitan is a poor he's believer he's muahid he don't want to prostrate to the human being all the angels according to islam mushrikeen only shaitan he's a muahid he's a, a monotheism okay he never associate <laughs> Any so, person was a god. So you think Islam is like the devil, right? Like the devil, correct? You think it's like the devil? Shaitanic religion, Habibi. Okay. Can the de in Christianity, can the devil go against himself? Yes or no? One question. Can the devil... <laughs> can now, the first of all, answer that question. Can the devil go Why against himself? Why your prophet Muhammad no. used to be have a statue in his house, can front door, after he claimed it, he is a messenger of Allah that makes no sense. 25 years. Can Tell me Muhammad is a pagan and ask your question, no problem. 23 years, 23 years. Tell me, tw 23 years, no problem. Ya akhi, 20 years. Right. Ya Allah, discount for you, offer for you, 20 years. No, it's 23 years. After 20 years, Muhammad years? claimed he is a messenger of Allah. He still have a statue inside, statue of man inside his house and the front door tell me muhammad is a pagan and you are very welcome to ask your question hmm? okay i don't know that's it i don't know so can you ask my muhammad question? is pagan or not no he's not a pagan if i have a statue on my house and the front door what you should call me you're not either a pagan is someone who worships other than god was he worshiping that statue pagan i'm not talking about polices i'm talking about pagan do you know the difference between pagan and polytheist? Yes, a polytheist is someone who believes other than God, more than one God. Idolaters, pagan. Uh, the definition pagan, of pagan? Pagan, idolaters. Polytheists associate God with somebody. Okay, which is also a pagan. So we said Muhammad pagan. Muhammad not a pagan. Prove to me, Muhammad is not pagan, and you are very welcome to ask me your question. Okay, I can't prove it I to you. I prove so it not... to you from authentic hadith no. and from Quran and from interpretation of the Quran. Let me give you last hadith. No, I don't want no more hadith. I don't care. Answer my question. Just answer my question. It's Let's one question. Give you it's one this question. This guy's from a hadith of Rasul, Prophet, hadith of Prophet. <coughs> Arabic website. I use the Prophet Google. Peace and a blessing be upon him. Sahih al Bukhari. Hadith number 5499. Masha'Allah, Jesus. On the authority of Abdullah, narrating on the authority of the Messenger of Allah, peace, 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 he met 
Zayd bin Amr bin Nufail at the bottom of Baldah. And that was before the revelation came down to the Messenger of Allah. Peace, 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 peace. Presented him, presented him with a piece of meat in net. But he refused. He refused to eat from it. Then he said, I do not eat. From what? Read this. You from you slaughter on your monuments. And I do not eat except from what God's name is mentioned on it. Boom. So you're a prophet Muhammad slather the animal on whose name? Oh my God. On a statue name. Oh my God. Boom. Boom. This is where? Sahih al-Bakhari. Look in Arabic language. Is it crazy in Arabic language? A little bit soft in English. Zayd ibn Amr ibn Nufayl, he said, فَأَبَى أَنْ يَأْكُلْ He said, إِنِّي لَا أَكُلُ مِمَّا تَزْبَحُونَ عَلَىٰ أَنْصَابِكُمْ Buv. It's more crazy in Arabic. In English, it's a little bit soft. A little bit soft in English. In Arabic, it's crazy. So you're a prophet Muhammad used to be slather animal and eat what is slather on his statue. Oh, okay. And you're still saying Muhammad is not pagan? <laughs> Do you want me to give you more from Quran? I don't want more. Just answer my question. I came here to ask you a question. I'm a jahil, okay? I'm a jahil. You came. I'm a jahil. You I'm a... came? What? I'm a jahil. You are I'm a jahil? A... So why are you worshipping pagan man? Because oh, okay. you're Muhammad is Allah. So what? You want me to worship a man? Jesus? Is that who you want me to worship? Muhammad is Allah. What? Muhammad Jesus? is Allah. Jesus is Allah. Jesus is Allah. Muhammad is Allah. Jesus is Allah. Do you want me to prove it from Quran? Jesus is Allah. Did you just did even Calm down. Jesus did just did Calm down. Let's finish it. Let's finish it from the pagan Allah and we come back to Jesus. Uh, so, so, so Muhammad is Allah no, and Muhammad is a pagan. Why you worship pagan Allah? I don't worship pagan Allah. You may prove it Muhammad is Allah in Quran? In Quran? A. Mm -hmm. So you think you're smarter than all these scholars that... Do you want me to prove it Muhammad is Allah what? in Quran? What surah? What surah? Cool. Who is Ghafur and Rahim? Ghafur Rahim, Allah. Who is Rauf and Rahim? Rauf Rahim, I don't know. Rauf Rahim. What is Rauf? Muskain, most merciful. Muskain, most merciful. Allah. Uh, who? Allah. Bravo. Open with me, Surah Tawbah 128. Yalla. 128. Boom. Muhammad is Allah. Thank you. <laughs> So why are you worshipping pagan God? Huh? Muhammad in this verse, he is Rauf and Rahim. He is most kind, most merciful. Ya Habibi! Suffering and grace and mercy. It doesn't say most merciful, it says merciful to the believers. Oh, 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 come. Come. Come, ya Amri, enta, come. This is what? Surah at tawbah okay. verse 128. لَقَدْ جَاءَكُمْ رَسُولٌ مِنْ أَنفُسِكُمْ عَزِيزٌ عَلَيْهِ مَا عِنْتُمْ حَرِيصٌ عَلَيْكُمْ بِالْمُؤْمِنِينَ رَؤُوفٌ رَحِيمٌ Ya Allah! Okay, what is that proof? Indeed, there has come to you a noble messenger from among, from among you, your feeling into hardship a grievous him must cons must what must compassion must merciful boom muhammad worshiper and muhammad is a pagan which means you worship a statue pagan allah okay. pagan worshiper go ahead brother is yours i'm done so now I can ask you a question, right? Yeah, but I lost it already. Why should I take over? They said it's done deal. <laughs> no, so, I, so I can ask a question now, right? About Christianity? What question do you want to ask, brother?
All right. So in Christianity, can the devil go against himself? Brother, brother, you couldn't, you couldn't even address one question, not even one point that Ahmed was given to you. Brother. I'm asking you a question now. I'm yes, asking, no, ask. I want. I actually, I, I genuinely want to answer. Can the devil go against himself in the Bible? What do you mean by that? Can, can the devil? Can, do you know? Do you know that the meaning of hold on, hold on. Do you know how the devil actually? I mean, do you know how the devil became devil in Christianity? Because we don't believe that the devil you guys have how allah mislead the devil we don't believe that because it no. gives a fallen angel we don't believe that our god mislead the devil you need to understand that because because uh it was um forgot his name it was one of the angels okay one of the biggest highest uh higher rank angel that disobeyed god okay because of him he wanted to show off and act like god Lucifer, there we go. Thank you for reminding me. Yeah. So Lucifer, that this what was his name? Okay, he wanted to be like God. He disobeyed God. So God told him, you know what? You know, um, like I don't want you. So that's when he went against God. Okay, and became devil. That's what we. Believe. So how did he become devil? He, he disobeyed that, God, right? Uh, hold on, hold on, hold on. Give, give me a hold on, bro. No, no, I miss We that don't part. believe. That, uh, hold on, wait for your turn. Okay, okay. I'm talking to him. This you is in Christianity, wait. right? Christianity? Well, okay, we don't believe that Allah mislead the devil. Okay, we don't believe that Allah sends the devils against the disbelievers to mislead them. Well, obviously, they're already, they're already mislead it. That doesn't answer my question. My question was, can... Uh, this uh, this pagan is gone. Let uh, bring another customer. This pagan is gone. Mm. He's circling okay. around, circling around, no, I'm, I, and he worship a god pagan. Say bye to the camera. You haven't answered pagan. my question. You haven't so answered my question. So after you deny the Allah pagan statue, come back to ask a question. It, Still it, worshiping the statue, in worshiping in pagan Luke. god, you are in not Luke. allowed to ask any question. Okay. In Luke, in Luke, does it not say that that you will sit on my kingdom and sit on the throne, judging the twelve tribes of Israel? Does it not say that? Who said that? So, so who said that? Who said that? Hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. Wait, 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 wait. You're bringing something. It's, okay, make your own argument, bro. It's, it's, because it looks like you just got destroyed I so bad destroyed. about you. You didn't even about answer my question. You didn't even answer my question. You got destroyed. Now, now you want to jump you in. You didn't even answer my question. Yeah, Habibi, you didn't even answer my question. My question, 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 my my topic is a, is a Muslim topic. What are you talking about? Yalla, next.